Okay, so for this first set of questions, you have 30 seconds for each. First question. Determine the shortest wavelength of X-rays produced from an X-ray tube with a potential difference of 22 kilovolts between anode and cathode. Which of you? Answer bell. Um, the shortest possible wavelength would be 35.2 micrometers. That's incorrect. <laughs> the right answer is 56 picometers. Next one. A tanker discharges an incompressible fluid fuel of density 9.0 times 10 raised to the power 2 kilogram per meter cubed through a horizontal pipe of cross-sectional area 0.02 meter squared. Determine the mass flow rate of the fuel when its speed in the pipe is 4.0 meters per second. Which of you answer bell? Okay, so the answer to the question would be zero, would be zero point seven two times ten to the power two kilogram per second, which is the same as seventy two kilogram per second. Okay, I'm going to give it to you, but with a strong warning. A very strong warning. The reason being, I told you to be direct. Mm -hmm. I told you to be direct. Give me one answer. And then you start telling me all sorts of things, and then you are not even following my instructions for... <laughs> Okay, 72 kilogram per second. Next one. When a certain transverse wave propagates in the X direction in a medium, the displacement of particles at position X in meters and time T in seconds occurs parallel to the Y direction and is given by y as a function of xt is equal to 0.2, 0 0.02 meters multiplied by cosine of the expression 30 pi t minus 14 x. What is the frequency of the wave? One answer. 15 yes. hertz. 15 hertz. Next set, 10 seconds each. What is blood urea nitrogen? It's the level of nitrogen from protein breakdown found in the blood. Next, what part of the body of mammals is distal to the knee? Hey. Okay, distal, away from the knee. Huh? So what is there? Distal to the knee, what's there? 
for no points. <laughs> so you can find the leg there, right? The leg is made up of the shin and the calf, and then the foot is also there. All right. Name one, only one, of the two main types of anaerobic respiration. Answer bell. Lactic acid fermentation. All right. The other one is alcoholic fermentation. And if you had said both, you'd have been in trouble with me. Next set. Now, this first question in this next set, 30 seconds. Give the balanced equation for the combustion of 2 methyl heptane in excess air. Yes. Answer bell. The answer is C8 H18 plus 25 over 2O2 going into 8CO2 plus 9H2O. Well done. <laughs> Next one, 30 seconds. When lead 2 trioxonitrate 5 is heated, lead 2 oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide, and oxygen gas are formed. Give a balanced equation for this reaction. Answer bell. It will be... 2PB, open bracket, NO3, close bracket, subscript 2, going into 2B, 2PBO plus 4NO2 plus O2. Yes. <laughs> 10 seconds. As seen. ASH3, unlike NH3, is not an electron pair donor. However, it however becomes an electron pair donor when the three hydrogens are replaced with methyl groups. Why? Yes, answer bell. Um, in the ASH3, it consists of a, an arsenic atom with a free pi orbital which is bonded to three hydrogen atoms. And thus, due to, the empty, due to the emptiness of this pi orbital, it's not capable of donating electrons. But however, when the methyl groups are attached, there's an electron donating effect of the methyl group on the arsenic atom. And as such, this increases the concentration of electrons within the free pi orbital. And these electrons can be donated for it to be to become a, an electron donating species. I'm not accepting it. Yeah. All right. If it had been your own question, if it were not a speed race question, you would have had some partial credit. But uh, since it's speed race, everything must be perfect, right? Okay. So the methyl groups donate electrons. That's the part you are getting right in a very long, winded way. Uh, so they donate electrons by inductive effect. So what that will actually happen is that they will stabilize the positive charge on the arsenic atom when they donate the electron pair. Okay, so the stability, that is a very key part of it. All right. Okay. Last set, 30 seconds each. First one, solve the inequality. 
absolute value of 2x plus 3 is less than 11. Which of you? Answer bell. Negative 7 less than x less than 4. You are right. Next one. The sum of three consecutive even integers is 30 more than twice the middle number. Find the three integers. Yes, yeah, so up here? We are having 28, 30, and 32. Yes. Last question. Find the equation of the circle with center C with coordinates 1, 2, passing through the point P with coordinates negative 2, 6. Yes, also up here. We are having x minus 1 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared is equal to 25. You are right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> That's the end of the second round.